What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 42 of Hot Art Excursion. It's hanging off there a little bit. Anyways, we're working specifically on the joint constraint here. So what I've done is I've got three different boxes and I just stacked them on each other. And we notice on here on the left side, we see them as three individual components. This is really important when you're looking at assemblies down the pipeline. So let's go ahead and start this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a sketch. Now in this sketch, I'm going to do three different box sizes. Let's do a two by two, a three by three, and then let's do a four by four. Click finish sketch, and then I'm going to go ahead and extrude all of these on up. Now here's what I imagine some people are going to do um, accidentally when trying to make assemblies, and this is the problem they're going to run into is that Fusion doesn't see these things as individual objects. It sees it as one part with spaces in between them. So we have to tell Fusion these are three different boxes. So what we're going to do is called create a new component. We're going to do that from the body. Click on the body we want to make a new component. And there we go. Over here on the left side, you see component one pop up. You can rename these components by doing a slow double click. I'm going to say box one. And then create new component from bodies. Click on that middle box, call it OK. Call this box two. And then last but surely not least, create new component from bodies, box three. All right, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and do our symbol constraints here. So we're gonna click on joint and we're gonna join the center of one box to the bottom and the center of another box. It will go ahead and move it as needed. It will do this little rumble shake and that's totally fine. We have to do some arrow keys where we can move these constraints. Notice I can only move the second object. Uh, I can't necessarily move the first object. So your first object when it calls what's grounded. I'm gonna go and do the joint constraint. We're gonna do it for the second one here. And there we go. We got three boxes stacked and click OK. Now what I'm going to do is to add a little bit of flair, we're going to color these boxes as well. So I'm going to hit the A key on my keyboard and it'll bring up the appearance tab. So let's just do paint because paint does do nice pretty colors. Let's do, see if I will let me, let's do paint that. Fusion's been crashing on me today, so I think I'm going to try it one more time. If it does let me do it, we're going to call it quits on the video here. Let's do red. There we go. Purple. Actually, let's do the paint tab because I think I can find paint in there. Let's do and yellow. Alrighty. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. If you notice, I did have some troubleshooting issues with those uh, picking the appearance colors, and that's just because Fusion, since it's a browser, sometimes if you act too quickly or if your internet hiccups a little bit, um, it has to refresh. So all I did was hit the escape key a few times, give it a quick second, hop back in it, and then we're good to go. Alrighty, guys. So that very quickly, we just made three different components. And on top of that, we also did three, or sorry, two assemblies of those three components. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know. Till then, I'll see you on the next one.